All right, guys, we're going to um, create an alien invasion. Um, I've supplied you with two images. Uh, I supplied you with a kind of a destroyed city. Um, and then I also provided you with an alien ship. And it is a different um, a different hue, a different shade of uh, color. But we're going to adjust that. Um, we're going to be blending these two together and uh, creating a, a, a cool scene with uh, a layer mask. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring um, – uh, this alien ship into the into the city. Okay, so all I'm going to do is unlock this layer, and I'm going to drag it into the city like this, and place it on top. Now, I can do all my adjustments uh, to it, and then resize it after, which I was kind of uh, going to plan on doing. Um, so the first things first is you want to kind of adjust it in the middle here, um, and then we're going to. Um, uh, just make sure that it's placed and checked. So you make sure that you have two layers. You have your city layer, uh, your background layer, and your alien ship layer. So I'm going to go ahead and rename those. I'm going to go ahead and rename those um, layers. So I'm going to click here and type uh, city. Then I'm going to type uh, ship, alien ship. Just so that if you hear me say the alien ship layer, you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, first things first is we're going to blend these two together. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, why don't I just cut it out and put it on top? And all that is well and good. Um, but the way a layer mask works, you get a more accurate cut, you get a smoother cut. Um, it's not as choppy. It's a little more realistic. Um, and the way we're going to do that is with a layer mask. So the first thing first is we're going to place a layer mask onto the alien ship layer. So you make sure you have it highlighted and the layer mask is located at the bottom of the layers panel. It says add a layer mask. It's a little square with a circle in it. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, this is a non-destructive way of editing. So all the editing I'm going to do is on this layer mask. Now, what it does is I'm going to paint on that layer mask. I'm going to paint with black and white. Layer masks only recognize black, white, and gray values. What happens is everywhere that I paint black, it's going to reveal what's underneath, okay? So I'm going to reveal everything that's underneath by painting this area black on here. Okay, I'm selected on the mask. So imagine that the layer mask is on top, okay? So I'm going to select my paintbrush. I'm going to make sure that it has, uh, go up to the options, and it's a bigger size, and the hardness is zero. You want to have a nice smooth transition. And all I'm going to do, and you can change the size of your brush, the circumference, that radius, with the bracket tool, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting on top and you can notice what's happening is when I paint on that layer mask, it is revealing what's underneath. Now, the smaller you get, you don't wanna get too close to the ship, but you see because of that soft edge it is creating a more realistic cutout instead of like a harsh, imagine if it was like a pair of scissors or something. So you wanna go ahead and clean up this top area just like that. Get around the corners and don't be afraid to maybe get a little closer by zooming in with control and the plus. Now it could, the ship, even though it takes off a little bit, it's okay. Now imagine if I did this and I got rid of the laser, how would I fix that? Well, it's very simple. You just switch from black to white and then you just recolor on top where you want to reappear because remember, the white shows what's on that top layer and hides what's on the bottom one, okay? So you can always go back and kind of clean up the ship afterwards too. It's not a problem. Just make sure that you go back to black when you're doing the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and switch them over here on my color picker, and then I'm going to continue getting rid of this this black here, or the background, excuse me. Go all the way over. Get a nice, almost has like a cool halo around it. And we're gonna fix that. Now, it looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm still select on this layer, so now I'm going to transform it. I'm going to place it in my city where I think it's appropriate. Now, I'm going to even maybe get rid of some of this laser beam here. I'm going to make this brush bigger and kind of just apply a soft 
so it's a little transparent like it's beaming somebody up okay now i don't want to keep it and you can see my layer uh layer mask over here there's probably some parts that are missing i can go ahead and paint over them like this but it doesn't really matter because there's no, no other image it's kind of like appearing out of nowhere so you're getting kind of like a ghostly effect And once we adjust the um, the color, now everything is kind of has a green tone to it. So we're going to adjust that with a, a adjustment layer. Okay. Now we want to just add the adjustment layer to the alien ship, not to the whole picture. So how we're going to do that is we're going to add a clipping mask. Okay. So we're going to use a clipping mask on top of that layer so that the adjustment layer is only affecting that alien ship. What I mean by that, here is the adjustment layer. We're going to go to hue and saturation. Okay, but I'm gonna add, I'm not gonna add the clipping mask so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna add click colorize, okay? And you'll see what happens. The adjustment layer is affecting every layer underneath it, but I will fix that, not a problem. I am going to right click. I'm gonna right click that hue and saturation adjustment layer and create the clipping mask. And you'll see that it just now affects the spaceship, okay? So first thing we're gonna do the hue, which is, so the hue was minus 140, negative 140. That was 140, I'm sorry. Uh, minus 10. Minus so it's 18. And then the lightness was 11. There we go. So I get kind of a green tint to it. Is that right? So 140. Minus 11. There we go. Or is it just 11? Oh, no, it's minus 11. All right, so we hit it at minus 11. Okay, I can't get it here. I'm going to just put it, type it in. There we go. Now you can see that everything has a kind of the same tone, same as everything. Now if you want to darken up the areas, you can just go back on that layer mask right there. You can switch it to white, and you can bring in some more of that beam in if you want. A little stronger. Bring up some more of the ship. This. And you can see that even though there's a little bit of that background in there, it's okay because it adds sort of a spooky element to it. All right. And that's how we're creating that alien invasion. Now, the cool thing is, is that I can just group these together and then duplicate it. And I can create another one in the background just by shrinking it like this. And you can add a couple more. You don't have to add just the one ship here. You can move them around once it's been in that folder. You group it together. Maybe make this one bigger. Right in the front there. That's kind of cool. Okay, so, so you don't have to go crazy, but this is just uh, using a layer mask to blend two images, then using the hue and saturation to bring the colors together in the image so they look like they're a part of it. Um, it's a good way that editors blend pictures together um, and they add a hue, a change of hue and a change of saturation so that they can make 
uh, pictures that were taken apart look like they were taken together. So this is a great little tutorial, a little alien invasion for you guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just let me know.